The latest update on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 has changed the way you install apps on Galaxy Watch 4 or Watch 5. So today I am going to show you an updated method of how to install full-fledged Android apps on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Just follow along and you will be able to use Pixel Watch screen on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or 5. But before we begin, there are some things you should know about. This method will work on Android devices. So if you are a fossil watch owner using it with iPhone, then this video isn't for you. Second, for this method to work, both your watch and phone needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And not all Android apps work because they are made for phones with quad-core processor, bigger display and have more than 1 or 2 GB of RAM. That also means if you see some particular app working in this video, that doesn't mean it will keep on working after 3 or 4 months as well. And if you find the video to be fast, then consider slowing down the playback or increasing the speed if you find it to be slow. So with all that information out of the way, let's begin. First, open the settings, scroll to the bottom and tap on the about watch option. Here, look for the software info option and open it. On the next screen, tap multiple times on the software version option until you see the developer option enabled pop-up. Now go back and just below the about the watch option, you will find the developer options. Open it. Scroll and enable the ADB debugging option here. Now enable the debug over Wi-Fi option. Next tap on the wireless debugging option located just below it. Now. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your watch is connected to your Wi-Fi network. Once you have made sure that the watch is connected, go back to the wireless debugging option again and make sure it is enabled. If it is not, then enable it and a pop-up asking you to allow wireless debugging should come up. Now scroll and check the always allow on this network option then tap on allow. Next tap on the pair new device option on your watch. As you can see, I am able to see my IP address on the watch now. Keep this screen open on your watch and now let's move on to the phone. First, install the EasyFire tools on your Android device. I will be leaving the link for the same in the description below. Once you have installed the app, open it. Tap on the hamburger menu option at the top left corner. Open settings, scroll below and look for the IP address option under connection settings. Once you find it, tap on it, a dialog box will appear. Here, enter the IP address you see on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or 5. Make sure you are adding the correct IP address as it should look something like this. Tap on OK. Now enable this auto connect option and go back to the app home screen. Here in the top right corner, you will find this plug like option. Tap on it. This will start the connection process with your watch. A dialog box saying authorization required will pop up on your screen. When using the app for the first time, the watch will ask to allow debugging. Make sure to select always allow from this computer. And tap on continue on your Android device. Now you can install the apps on your Android device. To illustrate, I will be using the Pixel Watch Face app to show you how to install the app. If you want to install it, then download the Pixel Watch Face APK file using the APK mirror link provided in the description below. On the app screen, tap on the custom APK file option. Now tap on the select file. Here locate the file you have downloaded and then tap on the install button. A pop-up asking you to confirm side loading the app will appear. Tap on yes and it will start installing the app on your watch. This will begin the file transfer and installation process depending on the app size, it can take 10 to 20 minutes. Make sure to keep your phone's display turned on the entire time. I would recommend increasing your phone's screen timeout to avoid any issue altogether. In case you want to install some other app that is already installed on your phone, then you can do it as well. Simply go to the installed app section, tap on the app you want to install. A pop-up will appear asking you to confirm the installation. Not all apps will work as they are made for Android device. I had tested Instagram while testing the app last time 
but this time it wasn't work. There were login issues with Snapchat, so it didn't work. Also, you can try installing the Instagram Lite app on your watch using your phone if it doesn't work. There's no guarantee, but you can try. By the way, to access Google Pixel's watch face, go to downloaded section under watch faces in Samsung Galaxy Wearable app. Hopefully you found the video useful and if you did then don't forget to press the thumbs up button. Also in my last video lots of users were commenting the same issue without reading my replies to the other comments. So do check other comments that I have answered before posting any question. Also consider subscribing to our channel Wearholic for latest updates on wearable tech.